Hai, Assalamualaikum Jom kita revise sambil berehat Sambil berehat pun Kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi jika anda pertama kali datang ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula ke channel ni, terima kasih kerana sudi kembali. Jadi pada video kali ini, saya nak kongsikan empat contoh soalan daripada chapter 1 berkenaan dengan scalar and vector, resolving vector ataupun yang berkaitan dengan unit vector. Jadi apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, so for the first question, example number one. So let's read the question first. So question A, calculate the X component and Y component of each vectors above. So bila kita tengok kepada vector P, Q, R, look at the unit. So apa jenis vector ini? Sudah semestinya acceleration. So based on the unit, we already know that this is about acceleration. Alright, so let's start question A. So I want to resolve vector P first. So this is vector P for example and let's write P is equal to 35 meter per second squared. Alright, so we have X component and Y component. Alright, so, at angle of 50 degree, okay? So, perhatikan angle duduk di mana. Jika anda pernah tengok video sebelum ni, saya ingatkan kepada anda. Okay, tengok kepada angle ini. So, this angle is just near to the Y component. Alright, so let's write this is component Y and the direction is upward. Okay, start from tail. And this is the direction of X component for vector P. Okay, so now let's write the equation where vector PX is equal to P cos cosine. So, as PX duduknya jauh daripada angle, so dia adalah sine theta. Okay, so it's equal to so, P is 35 sine and the angle is 50 degree. Therefore, please press your calculator carefully. So, Px is equal to 26.81 meter per second squared. Okay. So, how about Py? So, let's write Py here. So, Py is equal to P cos theta. And it's also positive since the direction is upward. So, it's equal to 35 cos 50 degree. So, the answer is 22.50 meter per second. Okay. So, we finish for vector P. Okay. So, this is the answer. So, make sure you write the correct unit for acceleration. Okay. So, now how about Q? Okay, so look at here, the direction of Q is in vertical direction. So, tak ada angle kan? So, Q tak perlu kita nak resolve. And for vector Q, since the direction is straightly upward, okay, so we can straightly write the Y component for Q is positive 24 meter per second. Okay, so this is answer for Q. And how about R since the direction of R is to the left. So, it's only in X component direction. So, kita akan letak Rx. Okay. And it's negative 10 meter per second. Kenapa saya letak negative? Sebab the direction is to the left. Direction left and downward kita letak negative. Right and upward kita letak positive. Okay. So, kita dah dapat dah jawapan untuk Rx. Dan jangan lupa tulislah juga untuk Qx. Okay, which is 0 meter per second sebab tiada direction of Qx. And untuk Ry pun jawapannya adalah 0 meter per second. Okay, so kita dah menjawab semua soalan. Okay, so A kita dah selesai. Okay, so ini jawapan untuk A. 
So PX, PY, QX and QY and RX and RY. Okay, awak listkanlah cantik-cantik, elok-elok. Okay, and B, calculate the resultant magnitude and direction of the vectors. Okay, so let's move to the second part. So we want to find the resultant magnitude and direction. Okay, so let's write the resultant, the equation for resultant vector for acceleration is equal to total acceleration in x component squared plus total acceleration in y component squared. Okay, memandangkan vektor ini adalah acceleration, saya letak AX and AY. Kalau vektor ini adalah force, saya akan letak FX and FY. Jadi, tengok pada soalan. Kalau soalan tu berkenaan acceleration, jangan letak FX and FY. Okay, tengok pada soalan. Alright, so now let's calculate first what is the total. Okay, what is the total acceleration in X component? Okay, remember. So, let's write. Okay, so we have... Okay, saya tulis dekat sini eh. Okay, so total AX is equal to, okay, vector P in X component plus Q in X component plus R in X component. Okay, so that substitute. So PX is 26.81 plus 0 plus negative 10. Okay, and 16.81. The answer is 16.81 meter per second squared. So, in Y component, the total acceleration in Y component is equal to PY plus QY plus RY. Sorry, eh, tulisan saya buruk sikit. Ha. Okay, so PY is 22.50 plus, ambil balik yang kita dah kira tadi, plus 0. Okay, so it's equal to 46.50 meter per second squared. So, kita dah dapat nilai ini dan nilai ini. So, let's substitute in this equation. Okay, so square root 16.81 squared plus 46 0.50 squared. Okay, so the answer is equal to 49.45 meter per second squared. So this is the answer. And this is the magnitude. Ini baru magnitude dia. Kita baru kira magnitude nilai. Okay, so ini jawapannya. Okay, saya highlight jawapan. So ini kita baru kira magnitude. And how about direction? Okay, so jom kita kira direction. Hmm, dekat mana saya nak buat ya? And let's calculate the direction of the vectors. Okay. So the direction, remember the equation theta is equal to inverse tangent, total acceleration in Y component over total acceleration in X component. Okay, so I will put modulus and then inverse tangent. So, let's substitute 46.50 over 16.81. So, now press your calculator. So, the answer is equal to, theta is equal to 70.12 degree. Alright, so this is the direction and kita nak tahu angle ini berada di above positive x-axis or below. Ataupun above negative x axis or below. Okay, so now let's focus on this value. Okay, total AY adalah positive value and this is also positive value. So, bila dia positive value, saya padam ini dulu. Okay, so since this is positive value, so Y component should be upward, positive right. So, this is a y okay total a y tadi and this is positive x kan 16.81 positive value so total a x in this component all right so the resultant 
the resultant magnitude of this acceleration is in this direction yang kita dah kira ini. Okay, so here is equal to 49.45 okay, meter per second squared. And the angle here is equal to 70.12 degree. Okay, so kalau kita tengok kepada kuadran ini, okay, so kalau kita tengok kepada kuadran ini, so this resultant acceleration, okay, the position of the resultant acceleration duduknya dekat above positive x-axis. Ini positive x-axis, ini negative x-axis. Ini positif y axis. So, ini negatif y axis. So, sekarang kita akan refer kepada kuadran yang ini. So, the direction of the resultant acceleration okay, is at angle of 70.2 degree. Okay, kita kena tambah above. Above positif. Kita tulis layak kan? Jangan buat simbol saja. Positif x axis. Okay, jadi inilah jawapannya untuk direction of the resultant factors. Okay, so finish example number one. So let's proceed to example number two. Okay, now example number two. So we have two vectors here which are P and Q as shown in figure one. So let's determine R which is the resultant vectors if R equal to P minus Q. Okay. Alright, so let's try to solve this problem and the first step we need to resolve first vector Q and vector P in X and Y components. So now let's resolve Q in X component which is QX, alright. So since angle 20 degree duduk sebelah X component, okay, X vector, so kita akan guna cos. So it's positive Q cos theta which is equal to q is 4.8 cos 20 degree all right and qx is equal to 4.51 meter and how about qy so the direction is upward so let's write here so qy is equal to q sine theta and it's equal to 4.8 sine theta 20 degree. Okay, and QY is equal to 1.64 meter. Okay, the direction is upward, so positive lah. Ini ke kanan, so positive juga. And how about P? Alright, so when we resolve P, so the direction is downward with for PY, and the direction is to the left for PX. Okay, so we can write here PY is equal to okay, PY duduk jauh dengan angle so the angle 30 degree is here so PY akan sign lah and the direction is downward so negative okay, negative P sine theta so let's substitute P 5.6 meter sine the angle is 30 degree and then you will get the answer is negative 2.8 Okay, make sure you press calculator, you practice how to press your calculator. Okay, and how about PX? Okay, so for PX, so it would be P cos theta and 5.6 cos 30 degree. So for PX, since the direction is to the left, okay, jangan lupa letak negative sign here. Okay, so for Px is equal to negative 4.85 meter. Okay, so this is displacement, other direction and magnitude. So now we want to find the resultant R. Okay, so now let's write here R is equal to P minus Q. Okay, so we need to find vector Rx and Ry first. So now let's divide into x and y component where rx should be equal to px minus qx. And for ry, it should be equal to py minus qy. Okay, 
So Px kita dah ada, Qx kita dah ada, Py dah ada, Qy dah ada. So let's substitute in this equation. Okay, where Px is negative 4.85 meter minus Qx. Qx kita berapa? 4.51. Okay, so kita akan dapat Rx 9 point, sorry, negative, jangan lupa negative, 9.36 meter. Okay, so this is Rx. Okay, saya tukar tebal sikit color. Okay, and for Ry, okay, so Py is equal to negative 2.8 minus Qy is 1.64. Okay, so you will get negative 4.44 meter. So this is for Ry. Okay, so now let's find the resultant uh, vector for these vectors. So kita ada R is equal to, remember the equation square root, okay, Rx squared plus Ry squared, okay, and it's equal to, kita masukkanlah nilai dia, okay, Rx negative 9.36 plus negative 4.44 squared and the answer is 10.36 meter, okay. So, this is the magnitude. So, we need to calculate what is the direction. Where the direction theta is equal to inverse tangent, okay, Ry over Rx. Okay, and just substitute the values. So, we get negative 4.44 over negative 9.36. Okay, saya pindah kat sini eh, tak muat. So, theta is equal to 25.38 degree and the answer is below negative x axis. Ha, below negative x axis, macam mana dapat below negative x axis? Okay, so example number 1 tadi saya dah tunjuk. So, now kita tengok balik Ry kita, Ry is negative, Rx also negative. So, since Ry is negative, so the direction is downward. So, saya tulis ini adalah Ry. And Rx also negative, so the direction in this direction. So, Rx. Okay. So, here we have resultant vector R. Okay, at angle of, ini yang kita kira tadi. The angle is 25.38. 25.38 degree. Okay, kecil kan? <laughs> Okay, tak apa. Okay, jadi kalau kita tengok, kita lukis kita punya y axis and x axis. So, ini adalah positive x axis. This is negative x axis. So, look at here. The direction of the resultant vector dekat quadrant mana? Kat sini kan? So, the direction is 25.38 degree below. So, ini adalah negative x axis. So, dia adalah below negative x axis. Okay, so finish example number two. See you in the next session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.